put together some information in Google Sheets using Google Finance commands. This first sheet has some company names at the side here, the company symbols, uh, then converts a symbol into the name that's recognized in Google Finance using this name command in row two here. You've then got the price, again using the price command, percentage change, market capitalization, volume, opening price, high for the day, low for the day, uh, yesterday's close, the beta for the price, uh, action, uh, the price earnings ratio, and then a 30 day trend line that's plotted here as a spark line. Um, these are some custom things here, price on a specific date, so you just tap in the date in the month, day, year format, and then it'll pull back the price for you. Um, with the comma two, comma two here, that truncates what's pulled back, so you're just getting the price and not any extra information. Uh, moving average on a 50 day here, so it's pulling in the average of uh, that's open, high, low, close, and then uh, it's column three, which is actually that's going to be the closing price. Uh, so the yeah, 50 day average of all the closing prices, um, the high, there is a command just high 52 that will get you the 52 week high, but if you want to program Google Finance, you can do a high uh, around any number of weeks or any number of days that you like. Um, and that's what this is doing here. Now we've got, these are some old trades that I did and I logged them using Google Finance. Um, so the names when I bought them, the mid price uh, on the day that I purchased, what I actually paid for them. And what you can see is that for some companies, particularly some of the smaller companies, there there's quite a big difference between the mid price and the purchase price. So there's quite a wide bid offer spread on that share. Um, how many I bought, commissions I paid, stamp duties, so I got my total cost, any dividends I received when I sold them, mid price when I sold, then the, the actual sale price that I got, looking at all the slippage again, commission I paid, proceeds, whether I made a profit or a loss, uh, then the percentage, how long I held them for, um, taking the difference between two dates. This is saying, okay, I could have bought just the FTSE 100, so what did that do during the time period? And then whether I outperformed or underperformed the FTSE 100. So FTSE 100 wasn't going through such a great time period um, performance, but uh, I managed to do reasonably well in some cases, less well in others. Then I put together a summary of all the trades. So I've counted the number of trades that are profitable, counted the number of trades that made a loss, looked at the percentages, uh, looked at the average holding period. Um, so yeah, it's actually kind of ran the wrong way. So the loss making trades should have a short holding period and the profitable trades should have a longer holding period. These were actually more uh, swing trades based on momentum. Um, so yeah, profit amounts and then the percentage, uh, looking at trading capital. And then, um, yeah, so that's the profit that I made, but I did give up quite a lot in commission. Uh, using some lookups and indexing to find out, okay, what was the largest profit? What company was that? Uh, what was the largest loss? Again, what company was that? And then the overall profit that I made. Um, so then you can track your current portfolio in Google Sheets. So again, uh, put in a ticker, pulls up the name, what the current price is when you bought it, uh, yeah, all that similar data. Um, and then, yeah, what, what FTSE 100 has done in the time period I hold it for, and then what the outperformance is. So it's not just looking at the 
percentage gain, it's actually putting it into some context and ideally into a time-based concept uh, context. So the, the longer you hold it for, um, the greater the return you should expect naturally. This is a candlestick chart. Um, I just borrowed the formula. It's actually quite a complicated one. Uh, yeah, but that's quite useful for plotting candlesticks off the automatic Google Finance data. This one looks at some Google Finance commands. So uh, yeah, I use an indirect command because I just want to change the company I'm looking out at in a specific cell rather than actually go into a formula every time to change it because it's a bit easier. Uh, I'm looking at the date range. Here it's 2019. I can specify daily or weekly. I'm looking at the just the closing price here. Um, so that's pulling up all this data. Uh, I then do some work off the back of it. So I, I plot a graph of the share price and then it plots me a trend line to show what's going on. And then also the, uh, the R squared regression on that trend line. Uh, and then I basically calculate all sorts of other information off the back of it. 20 day high, 20 day low, uh, relative strength that is calculated. Uh, ADX, which is a trend indicator that's calculated and then average true range which is a measure of volatility. So I hope you found this useful. Uh, put some comments below if uh, you've got any questions.